Instagram stories that we're gonna head back from Truckee and drive through to Sacramento and I asked for the best thrift spots in Sacramento and Eco Thrift was probably the best one, like the most popular one. So we are here. Let's see what I can find. We're gonna do like a little thrift with me action with Glitter Monster and SK D'Amico and Soul who doesn't have an Instagram yet. Stefano always loves going to the electronics section. Look at all these awesome cameras that we can do for the little artsy home video type of thing. Or if you want to make a porno. Just kidding. Finally found a cassette deck. You found a cassette deck? Yeah. Why are you getting a cassette deck? So I can run some of my audio stuff through it and compress it. Ooh. Ooh. Make it sound more vintage. How much is it? $15. Oh, snap. High five. Very nice. Very nice. Cute little mugs. I'm not sure if I want this one or these ones. They remind me of when I used to go to the diner with my mom. Okay, so this place is pretty overwhelming. It's huge. Like, what? One thing I definitely need are graphic tees and um, pants that fit me. I don't know about you guys, but like when you're looking for graphic tees, are you overwhelmed? Because I have no patience for this. I think I'm good at thrifting everything else, but I don't even dabble in the graphic tees because it's just too much. But I also got a lot of tees. Who knows? Who knows if these will work out? So, what can you tell me about thrift stores? They have, there's a lot of things going on. It's crazy. Where do you even look? I don't know. Where do you look next? Mommy loves it. We'll just put it in there anyway. She's going on a spree. All right, so off the bat, love how high waisted that is. Love the fact that it has pockets and it's like a peasant skirt. Perfect for winter. I really need to try this one on. It looks like it has puff sleeves. I don't know what this texture is, but it's the type of sweater that if Mochi or Azul snag it, it's gonna look like it's on purpose. So not mad about that. I don't know what the hell this is, but it looks like an amazing kimono with gold buttons like and linen. Looks like it was from the 70s or 80s. So, whoop! Also, look at this. That's like, you do not find these type of, it looks like it's crocheted. You don't find this stuff anymore, guys. Look at how lined it is. It's so beautiful. Actually, I think it's handmade because there's no tag whatsoever. This looks like a normal red button up. Not impressed. This is what you call a statement top. I call it a statement top because of the beautiful pleating as well as the detail of these like puff sleeves and the fact that it ends right at the waist. So this is with like a high waist anything, this is the type of shirt that's really gonna make you pop and stand apart from a lot of other red tops. A velvet one? What the fuck? Oh my God, I need to come to Sacramento more often. Right. I'm sorry, did you pick something out for me? Yeah, crop it. I'm down. Right. Thank you. Also, also, crop tops are so easy to breastfeed in. So, yes, 100%. Can I show you what I got? Yeah, let's go for it. Oh my god. Oh my god. Right, right? Yeah, good dry clean. Good shit. Look at this. I think that's handmade because okay. there's no tag on it. Yeah. This one smells really funky. I know, but where's, the funkier it smells, the better. Is this all? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay, look at this collar. Gorge. Yeah, it's totally. Okay, it looks pretty red in here, but look at this amazing collar. It's actually quite maroon. I think it would be perfect for the holidays or even just like. I'm not sure. 
Look what Brandon found. Wow. For some fulsome action or an everyday look. All right, so I eliminated a shit ton. I eliminated all of these. Beautiful sequins and whatnot. I'm still deciding which graphic tees I want. I'm probably gonna cut all these into crop tops to be completely honest. But sex is gonna only bring six items at a time. Once you're done, you have to go back in line. And Soul needs to eat, so I'm just gonna wait for Brandon and be done. Cool. You want me to tie a knot on this or no? Uh, yes, please. Sure. <laughs> wow. Real life Santa Claus. The neck in line over there. Santa. Interesting Santa. Brandon went back in there to get this corduroy number that's an A line. Oh my god, look at that. How that's so it? nice. How much is Five dollars. Five dollars. And ten dollars. Creepy Ronald, Ronald McDonald. Is it a porcelain head? No, it's plastic. Five dollars? Yeah. I literally have not looked at any of these clothes since I swooped them um, a month ago. Um, quite frankly, they smell absolutely disgusting. So I've been waiting to wash them. Um, but I decided I want to just show them to you now because I'm so excited. This is such a gem. Oh my god. This is a beautiful, I don't even know what it is. It's kind of like a smock button up dress or blazer, but it's a longer blazer. It cuts right above the knee. What I love most about it is one, the fact that it's linen. This was $10. I love how oversized it is and the cut of the sleeves. My favorite part is the fact that one, it's linen, but also the gold buttons all the way down the side. And then also you have these faux pockets on the left. I wish they were real pockets, but faux pockets with little buttons as well. Also, I just absolutely love linen. And because I am breastfeeding, it's just really easy to be able to open the top button and then just bust out the boob and feed them right then in there. So I'm definitely looking for pieces that are easy but also make me feel confident being a new mom this pencil leather skirt oh my god i don't know if it's leather or pleather i can't i'm not very good at that i'm pretty sure it's pleather because it squeaks like crazy but um i especially like the fact that it cinches right at the waist it's a nice little pencil skirt perfect condition um but i do like how um the pockets are, they don't stick out. So they're not gonna make your hips look even wider. They actually just fit perfectly along the hips. And yes, they're motherfucking pockets. So really excited for this. I don't know how I'm gonna dress this yet, but I don't think you can nearly have enough pleather in your life, to be honest. Pleather, leather. Uh, let's make it sound fancy like vegan leather. And I don't know how I'm gonna wear it. I'm excited. Whew. Oh my gosh. So last spring not last spring but the spring prior i went to savers and i got these awesome like mint turquoise colored um corduroy pants that i've been meaning to cut and crop um i can leave the card up here but i've been looking to really build a monochrome look and i found this short sleeved sweater with amazing shoulder pads um it's got like a little bit of a, a snag look to it i don't know what the proper term is but which is perfect so if like for instance he my son grabs at it the cats grab at it it kind of goes with the effect of like oh no it's supposed to look torn and and ratted ragged it's gonna be so nice to just throw on a sweater and then throw on like an, a leather jacket or another trench coat or something with it um not really give it much thought i love how rich the color is and also the fact that it's going to be really really warm and cozy so i personally really like how long the sleeves are but if i wanted to i could even um cuff them and make it even look a little bit more boxy um if i wanted to so pumped for this Ooh, this is just a perfect early 2000s button up. It's, I don't know what color it is. It's like a little lavender. I just love how light it is. I've just been needing button ups and I'm excited to either tie it up or wear it open um, just with some jeans and kind of have like a nice little Sunday casual look with this. Also, it was made in Japan. So I was like, mm, I gotta get it. Only $3. So I went with my brother and he was like, this is the bell of the ball of your he didn't use those words i use those words this is the best treasure that you found on this thrift haul uh is what he said essentially so i'm pretty sure this is like a pj top but look at this 
So I think I could totally wear this as like a more vintage puffer with a all white monochrome look and all jean look. I especially love the fact that it's in great condition and once again, the buttons, look at that nice little pearly little little button there. It's really, really soft and it just brings my granny shake to a whole other level. The, uh, <laughs> the name of it is Nanette Undies Co. Look at that, Nanette Undies Co. This was $10, but it's vintage and I don't mind I don't mind it. I think that I'm going to be able to keep this forever. I can even add like a little brooch, a little scarf. Now to the graphic tees. First of all, there aren't that many graphic tees. The most graphic tee is this one. Um, you guys know I'm obsessed with Japan. Um, I just got this one. I'm going to cut it into a crop top just because it's so easy to just put no thought and just add a crop top to everything, especially a graphic tee crop top. Um, because I wear so many high-waisted things. Um, I also really like this 90s um, t-shirt. It's a ribbed tee. I just, you can't go wrong with, an, with a good white tee. My brother was like, do not get this, look at the collar. But I think the collar is what makes it so 90s. It reminds me of Chandler from Friends. Um, the biggest thing also is just the, the texture and it's just so comfy. The material, it's like faux velvet. I absolutely love it. I'm probably gonna cut this into a crop top too. Ding, ding. Another 90s tee with a little pocket action. Um, I like the color. I, it's not necessarily olive, but I can wear this in, with like my army pants and like a full monochrome olive look. Ooh, this is a good one. A nice little camo action. Uh, definitely gonna feel like a badass wearing my light denim and wearing this as a crop top. Or my military pants, my green pants, anything kind of olive green, brown. Oh, also it says Recology from San Mateo. So it's, it's, pretty, it's pretty tacky and fun, but I'm excited to wear this too. Another one that I got that I'm kind of afraid to take out of the bag because it smells so bad, but you know it's a good find. Can I have a drum roll? Oh, it smells so bad. I'm worried that Soul has to smell this. This badass fringe black leather jacket. Oh my God, with the shoulder pads in it and everything. I only got this for $15. Look at the detail of the back. I love how it's shaped like a V. You have the very, very big shoulder pads, but then you also have it cinch right at the waist. It's a little bit oversized, but you guys know I'm all about the oversized look. Um, and it's nice little, I don't know if it's, I'm pretty sure it's suede, uh, but for $15. So I'm gonna get this dry clean, so excited to wear it. I'm also gonna do um, my favorite coats, winter coats haul. Um, excited to show you guys that too. Oh, oh, I'm so sorry, Soul. All right, guys, that wraps up my thrift haul from the Sacramento Eco Thrift. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna try and do more thrift hauls more often. I'm finally getting a hang of this mom thing. Once again, thank you guys so much for your endless support and your love. And I know that I started doing thrift hauls and I've kind of moved over to more lifestyle and all these different things, but I wanted to tell you guys that thrifting is still 100% my passion and I'm gonna try and get as many videos out to you guys as possible. Let me know what your guys' favorite items are and how you would style the specific items and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.